Hello friends, we know that fingers of the human are very important in his development, but nowadays the fingerprint is very important things to secure his private data and other things, but have you ever wondered that, why all humans have different fingerprints? So let's know. Fingerprints of a person are developed in the womb of her mother. They begin to develop about the 10th week of pregnancy, and are largely complete by around the end of 4th month. The print is determined by the relationship between the epidermis, which is the outer skin layer and the underlying of the skin which is called the dermis. There are a range of characteristic patterns which are called friction ridge patterns in a fingerprint, which can be identified and used to compare various fingerprints. The most overarching features are called whirls, loops, and arches. Fingerprint examiners will also look for other features for example, where these ridges may divide. The various friction ridge patterns are influenced by factors such as blood pressure, the oxygen levels in the blood, both maternal and fetal, the position adopted by the foetus in the womb, the touching of fingers onto the sac and amniotic fluid, nutrition of the mother, hormone levels etc. These results in the uniqueness of the fingerprints of individuals even among the identical twins. However, the chances of two individuals having the same fingerprint is slim, though not quite impossible. There have been some studies showing these odds are on the order of 1 in 64 billion, but since the world population is more than 6.4 billion and most of us possess 10 finger digit, we have more than 64 billion fingerprints. That's one reason why multiple fingerprints are used for identification nowadays as the probability of people having three fingerprints in common are on the order of 1 in 100 quadrillion. Fingerprints are determined in utero by a random differentiation of stem cells into ridge-type cells and valley-type cells. The thermodynamic randomness of heat and chemical diffusion generates the pattern according to some basic rules about how thick the ridges are. So your fingerprints are perfectly random, and if you get down to a fine enough resolution, about as guaranteed to be different as two people's personalities are guaranteed to be different. The potential problem comes from how we compare fingerprints. Two very similar fingerprints can look the same to a human even if they're subtly different. Computer-based analysis programs are quite good, but they only look at 20 or so small patches of features and compare the distances and angles between them. The statistical likelihood that 20 features line up in the same way between two people is very 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 low if not foolproof then at least certain enough to be admitted as evidence in a trial.